Hi everyone, welcome to White Dog Distilling. So what I have in store for you today is a whiskey flight tasting. So I want to go over the progression of our whiskey, how it's made, the different uh, whiskeys we have available, uh, and what that means, and what you can kind of expect when you do a tasting. So we have uh, right here, this is the base for all of our whiskeys. This is a, an, an unaged corn whiskey, and the corn whiskey that we make uh, is an 85% corn and 15% uh, malt base. Okay, so to be a corn whiskey, it has to be at least 80% uh, corn in the mash bill. So ours is 85%. So when it com comes off the still, uh, it's crystal clear, just like water. Uh, it comes off the still uh, somewhere around 110 to 120 proof. Um, we, if you're going to bottle this or if you're going to have this in the tasting room, we do proof it down to 40%. Now, we don't always have this available in the tasting room, but when we do, if you were to try it, it's going to kind of have um, like a grilled corn or a kettle corn kind of taste to it. Okay. So this is the base uh, for all of our whiskeys. Now, what we do to make our puppy bourbon is we take the corn whiskey base and we put it in a new American oak barrel that's been charred to a ch uh, char level of four, okay? So now, in order, in order for this to be a bourbon, the whiskey base has to be at least 51% corn. So with our base, we're definitely covered as far as that goes. Okay, so to be bourbon, it has to be made uh, in the United States. It has to be a mash bill of at least 51% corn. It has to go into a new oak barrel that's been charred. Um, and that's it. Okay, so those are the things that you have to do in order to have a bourbon, right? It doesn't have to be made in Kentucky, just has to be made in the United States, right? So now that's our bourbon. When we harvest the barrel, we have the used bourbon barrel, and what we do now is we add some more corn whiskey to the used barrel, and we let it age for uh, about three months. So three months later, we harvest it, and that's our white dog whiskey. Now you can see there's a color difference, right? This is a little lighter, and the white dog whiskey is very similar to an Irish whiskey, okay? Now, when you try the bourbon, you're gonna get some smoke, you're gonna get a, a little bit of a burn, you're gonna get vanilla, caramel, and you're still gonna get some of that corn, uh, like, that you get from the unaged corn whiskey, kind of like uh, the kettle corn that I was talking about. So you're gonna get all that in the bourbon. Now, in the used barrel, it's gonna be a little smoother in some ways. It's not gonna have as much smoke to it. Um, you might get some more vanilla than you do in the, with the bourbon. Uh, and then you're gonna get some more of that caramel uh, sweetness, kind of like from the kettle corn, all right? So this is gonna be smoother, it's lighter in color, right? And it's gonna have you know, a different profile to it. It hasn't been in the barrel as long, and it's a used barrel, so it's a little different. Then, <clears throat> to make our uh, cornucopia, which is a spiced whiskey, it's a similar process. It's a used bourbon barrel, but in this case, the used bourbon barrel, we put some corn whiskey in, but only for about three to four weeks. After about three or four weeks, we pull it, and then we add the dried fruits and spices to make our spiced whiskey. Now, it's going to have uh, some similar uh, flavor profiles like the White Dog Whiskey, except you know now we have the addition of spices and dried fruits. So it's kind of like going to be like a spiced rum, but a spiced whiskey version. Okay, and just to kind of like look at the colors like next to each other, okay, you can see the bourbon is a little bit darker, okay, and same thing here, right? That's going to be the lightest, the cornucopia is going to be the lightest in color. Uh, 
the progression of tasting, if you were to come into the tasting room, you would do the bourbon first, then the white dog, and then the cornucopia. And you could kind of see like, this is like the, the whiskey family tree here, okay? It all starts with the unaged corn whiskey. Thanks guys, cheers.